Iron Lord is one of the brand new titles added to Destiny 2 at the start of Season 17. There are 7 triumphs to complete to earn the title, all of which are Iron Banner related. We're going to cover each one and how to finish it. I'll also show you a few tips that should hopefully help you out. Iron Banner is active for this week until reset and the game mode is the returning Rift, which unfortunately has had a relatively buggy launch. There are only 2 Iron Banner weeks during Season 17, May 31st and July 12th. If you enjoy the video, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. The first 3 triumphs are all retroactive, which means if you played any Iron Banner in previous seasons you will already have progress on these 3 triumphs. For me, all 3 were already complete. Yolda's victory requires you to win 100 Iron Banner matches during any season. Ganora's seal requires you to collect 15 unique pieces of Iron Banner armor, and Orimund's taste requires you to collect 15 unique Iron Banner weapons. If you're new to Destiny or haven't played much Iron Banner, you can get the weapons and armor from Lord Saladin as well as completing matches in the Iron Banner playlist. If you collect all 5 pieces of armor on all 3 characters, that will get you all 15 completing the armor triumph. As for the weapons, Bungie have only released 2 brand new weapons, and there are not 15 unique weapons currently to obtain, so if you are not close to finishing this triumph, it will take you longer as you will have to wait for Lord Saladin to bring out new weapons. Orrowing Spirit requires you to get 300 points by completing objectives in Iron Banner matches. When you play the objective in Iron Banner, you earn points towards this triumph. For example, collecting the spark, defeating the enemy spark runner, and igniting the rift all count as completing objectives. For collecting the spark and defeating the enemy spark runner, you get 1 point towards this triumph, and for igniting the rift, you get a plus 5. So, assuming you pick up the spark and are able to ignite the rift every time, it would take you a total of 50 ignitions since you would get 6 points total and you need 300 points to complete. But just keep picking up the spark whenever you can so you get progression each match. Frostmire's Will requires you to complete 12 Iron Banner challenges. Unlike previous seasons, the 4 Iron Banner bounties are now gone. In its place are 4 daily challenges that should reward a pinnacle gear each time. You can complete 1 a day on each character, so if you do this for 4 days on all 3 characters you will complete this triumph. To find the daily challenge, hover over Iron Banner in the director and you will see the challenge. It does say weekly, but this is actually a mistake, it is in fact supposed to say daily. I have currently got 2 out of 12 for this triumph as I have done the daily challenge on 2 of my 3 characters for the first day. Grimmel's Dedication requires you to reset your Iron Banner rank twice. This is the latest game mode to get the new rank up system, so once you complete the Legend rank you can reset it. You can actually increase the speed at which you level up your rank by equipping Iron Banner gear, an Iron Banner emblem, and completing daily challenges. To view this boost, click on Iron Banner and hover over this icon and it will tell you what your boost is. As you can see I have 2 daily challenges, 1 emblem equipped, and 4 out of 5 pieces of gear. Armor ornaments count for this too. To get to all 5 pieces of gear, I unlock this ornament for my leg armor, and once I put it on, I now go to 5 out of 5. If you don't have any Iron Banner emblems on your character, head to the Collections tab and go to Flare. Look at your competitive emblems, and any that say they are a reward for Iron Banner, it will count for your emblem. Just reacquire one and put it on. Finally, Yoram's Hal requires you to complete Iron Banner matches wearing Iron Banner armor. The more Iron Banner armor you have on, the faster this triumph will progress. So make sure you're wearing that armor, and if you don't have any, you should be able to get some by completing Iron Banner matches or decrypting the Iron Banner engrams. Alternatively, similar to the rank boost, the armor ornaments should also count towards completing this triumph as that is what Bungie themselves have said. I think the community has been largely underwhelmed by the new Iron Banner. Have you jumped into Iron Banner yet? If you have, what do you think of it? Good luck on completing your triumph seal and earning the Iron Lord title, which starting in Season 17 can be gilded. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny content. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.